but um, there's still a lot of questions and confusion about the measure at hand, and I want to again offer up the frequently asked questions that we have on our website, and also my office to walk people through the ordinance. Um, I do want to stress that it is not my goal, at least in bringing this forward, to restrict anyone's Second Amendment rights, and it is my interpretation that it doesn't. I also want to say that it has our, been our goal from the beginning to make folks in Multnomah County safe. That is the goal of bringing this ordinance forward today, and that's the reason that I will be supporting it. Thank you. Thank you. Other comments or questions? I, I just want to say, first of all, as I mentioned last week, this is an issue that is obviously extraordinarily important to people and that provokes strong feelings and passions among people. And I want to just, first of all, thank everyone, whether you're in support of what we're doing here or not in support of what we're doing here, for the civil tone and the conversation we've been having. And I think it reminds us that we can have disagreements and still respect each other. I, I believe that some of the the fears that are, that are surrounding this issue have resulted in people having undue fear about what it is that we're doing here. And people have talked about this making them unsafe or taking their guns away or preventing people from defending their own houses, but that's not what this does. Um, it just isn't. I, I believe that the Second Amendment is an important part of our Constitution, but like all of the other parts of our Constitution, like all of the other bills of rights that were integral to protecting our freedoms, have to be viewed in the context of the people's rights as well as their neighbor's rights. And people have a right as a community to put in place reasonable limitations that keep the community safe. This is narrowly targeted to do that. I feel that the, the, the notion that this won't fix everything is absolutely true. We are not going to pass this ordinance and suddenly have no gun violence in our community. I think we all recognize that. But the notion that because criminals aren't going to look at this law and follow it, we shouldn't pass it, that's, that notion would undermine the notion of having any criminal laws at all. We create regulations that are trying to set what we believe the community values and community standards should be. And then we do our best to create those community norms. And that's what we're trying to do here. I do believe this was very carefully crafted and narrowly tailored. I'd like to thank Commissioner Pafori once again for taking the lead on this and for doing it in a very reasonable, responsible way thinking about it, working closely with opposing sides to craft something that I think really does get at the, the compromise that we're trying to achieve here, respecting the Second Amendment of making our community safer, mm -hmm. making our children safer. I'm going to be supporting this. All in favor vote aye. 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 Opposed. The second reading is approved and the ordinance is adopted. Thank you.